Hortensia? I wanted to tell you that I... I'd like us to be friends, so... I wonder if we could talk? I have nothing to say to you. Oh. My father is dead because of you. Why would I want to be friends? It doesn't matter to me if you were controlled or whatever and now you're back to normal. I'll never forget the sight of you laughing as you watched my father die. So please, just leave me alone. I... I've wanted so badly to apologize for that. Illusia should never have allowed worship of the Fell Dragon. His power, though, much as I hate to admit it, I do envy that. If I'd been born with what he has, what you have, my father would still be alive. Be glad you weren't born a Fell Dragon. It's a life full of fear, pain, and persecution. I wish I had been born human. To me, that life seems so much more... bearable. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it's terrible. Poor thing. We'll never be friends, Vale. Goodbye. Ugh. Um, Hortensia? I'm not sure I can be any clearer about how little I want to see or talk to you. Please, let me say one more thing. There's a story I want to tell you. It's about my mother. You see, she was just a regular dragon, but she was also the fell dragon's mate. Humans hated her for it and persecuted her. She died. <gasps> when I didn't age, the humans knew what I was. And they persecuted me, too. It was... terrible. So... being a fell dragon has given me nothing, and it has taken everything. <sighs> I get it. You've lost family, too. Is that all you had to say to me? Yes. I'm sorry I tried to force our friendship. I did a horrible thing to you. It was too much to ask. Goodbye, Hortensia. <sighs> Wait. Huh? I'm sorry for being so harsh to you. I didn't know about all that. I was inconsiderate. That's all. You can go. Okay. And thank you for listening to my story. Whew. Lady Vale? Can we talk? Oh, Hortensia! Yes, of course. I have something to say to you now. Please. It was ignorant of me to judge you without even trying to get to know you. It's easy to reject someone out of hand that way. But that doesn't make it right. So, I've decided. I would like to try being friends. You would? I still don't know if I can ever really forgive you. And maybe once we do get to know each other, I'll decide I actually can't stand you after all. But... I owe you a chance at least. So, what do you say? Is that okay with you? Yes, I will happily accept that. Good. Then, as a token of our friendship, please accept these sweets. These are your favorites, right? Oh. Um. I was sure Father said you loved these. Am I misremembering? Sorry, Hortensia. I don't like sweet food at all. You don't? The... Other me might have liked sweets, but the real me loves spicy food. Oh, wow. <laughs> you really are a completely different person from before. Okay, I'll treat you to something spicy next time. I... I'd love that. In return, I'll ask you to tell me everything you can about yourself. I want to know so much about the real you that I don't ever think about the other one. That sounds wonderful. And you have to tell me about yourself, too. I want to know everything. Yeah, I think if we can understand each other, this wound of mine might actually heal. So, let's get to healing, Lady Vale.